Hello, Boston classical musicians and classical music fans. I am State Senator Sonia Chang Diaz, and I'm very proud to represent a big chunk of the city of Boston. And I am here with you because I just want to say a humongous thank you for pulling together this event to raise funds to carry on the legacy of our beloved Ruth Bader Ginsburg, trailblazer for equality and small but mighty fighter till the end. Before I even got the invitation to be a part of this fundraiser, the National Memorial Service for Justice Ginsburg actually had me thinking with deep gratitude about the contributions that musicians and artists make to our nation. At times of profound celebration and profound mourning, it's musicians and poets who enable us to access those moments fully and to be together as a people, even when we can't physically be together. At Justice Ginsburg's service, it was the singing of the Jewish hymns and the poetry of Psalm 23 that made it real for me and honestly had me crying over my kitchen sink here. And I think back to President Obama's inauguration in 2009. It was the music that likewise brought the occasion to its full power and made it indelible in so many of our emotional memories. And I also think back to when President Obama sang Amazing grace to a nation so in need of it at the funeral for the Charleston Emanuel AME church shooting. And there again, it was the music that made all the difference. And now, tonight, you are giving yet again and in still new ways with your time, with your dollars, with your networks and your talents in order to retake control of the Senate and turn this country back from the brink. Your generosity and your civic spirit especially at a time when performing artists have been hit so hard by COVID, is a form of that grace. It is exactly the medicine that this country needs right now. You are reminding us all what it truly looks like to ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Tonight, this team of classical musicians has set the goal of raising $20,000 towards the election of Democratic U.S. Senate candidates across nine swing states. Now make no mistake, this money that you help raise tonight could be the margin of victory in any one of those races. And here in Boston, we know this is real because you'll remember we had a city council race last year that was decided literally by one vote. What you are doing here tonight could absolutely make that difference. And I'll tell you what else, those uh, U.S. Senate candidates that you're gonna help lift up with these funds will also in turn help lift up the Democratic presidential ticket uh, in each one of those states. So thank you for digging as deep as you can financially. And also don't forget that money isn't the only way to contribute to a campaign. If you've got a few hours to give over these next few weeks, please sign up for some digital volunteering. There has never been a more all hands on deck election in our lifetimes. So thank you again uh, for doing what you do. Don't let the day after election day arrive and find yourself thinking, oh, if I'd only given a little bit more or stretched a little bit further. My friends, leave it all on the field these next few weeks. Your generosity is incredible, it's inspiring, and I thank you for it, and I thank you for always using your music to remind us who we are and what we believe in as a nation.